Rafael Nadal, the man that everyone calls the king of clay, will not feature at the French Open that starts in about four days from now. What do you make of this, Zishan? Well, obviously, um, you know, the fact that he wanted to call a press conference uh, for this particular event and not the ones prior to it uh, shows the kind of respect that he gives to this event. And then the fact that he wanted to make this uh, a, a press conference where he announces that he's not going to play um, you know, I mean, we all, we all, like, like Dick Vijay said, that we all kind of had a an idea that he would not be playing. And uh, my uh, my take on this is that even if he was going to play, you know, I mean, you know, just recovered from an injury and everything, he hasn't played a match since January, uh, in the beginning of the year. And uh, there's no doubt that he's the greatest of all time on clay. But even uh, a Rafal Nadal on clay, having not played a single match in six months, uh, it would not have been easy for him to have defended his crown. So, uh, but, you know, like I said, having having said that, I mean, the fact of the matter is that he obviously wants to be, a, you know, 100% fit before he even steps onto the court, which obviously he's not at the moment. Zishan, I'm just coming in here. This is Digvijay. Uh, I'm just scrolling through uh, the announcements that have happened over there. He said he will not play the French and he will not play for the following months as well. He said it's, it's not a decision I made, it's a decision my body made. Uh, this perhaps gives us an indication that he intends to keep on playing. There's a lot of speculation that Nadal may even end up announcing his retirement. At least Nadal fans and tennis fans are, are going to sort of breathe a sigh of relief for the moment because let's just tell you what uh, Roger Federer, his great rival, said uh, a few weeks back at that Miami Grand Prix. He said it could be brutal for tennis if Rafael Nadal does not play the French. No, no, ab absolutely. I mean, you know, one cannot imagine the French Open or, you know, as we call it, the Roland Garros without Rafa. I mean, you know, for the past 14 or 15 odd years, He's the one name that has been most prominent as far as this tournament is concerned. So, to it, it was like tennis without Roger Federer, right? Or uh, or or an F1 without Schumacher, or you know, or golf without Tiger Woods. So, so that's basically what it means as far as uh, as tennis is concerned, uh, tennis at Roland Garros is concerned at least. Uh, and you know, but but then we all as tennis fans as fans of Nadal, as fans of Federer, you know, as fans of, of, of the game of tennis, have to at some point in time, uh, you know, obviously understand that, you know, these guys are getting older by the year and as much as we would love to watch them play continuously, um, you know, there, there will come a time where they will stop playing. But, uh, and, you know, and, and Federer stopped playing, but tennis still goes on. And and now, of course, you know, the, the it's not the big three anymore. It's the big two. And then uh, eventually it's going to be the big one, which is going to be uh, Novak Djokovic, who's, who's uh, according to me, going to win a couple of more Grand Slam before he quits uh, and calls it a day. So, so yeah, I mean, obviously very, very big news. Obviously huge, uh, you know, uh, a shock or whatever. Uh, you may call it to Rafa Nadal fans, to uh, tennis fans, not to have Rafa, you know, or to see Rafa in the draw uh, after 14 odd years. I mean, that's that's going to get, you know, take some getting used to.